Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. I'm here at Surf Expo with Gary Siskar at the Liquid Force booth. How are you doing, sir? Doing great, Alexis. Thanks. You've got some great twin tips. Walk us through them. Yes. We're actually really proud of our twin tip line. We're uh, probably one of the brands that has the deepest line out there in the market that fits every single kiteboarder from someone that's just starting out, learning how to do transitions, even learning how to just get up on the board. We make boards that make it really easy to progress all the way to very high-end boards that we have top level PKR riders that are competing on everything in between so we are very confident that someone can find a twin tip that will suit their riding style suit the conditions that they ride in suit their needs um, from liquid force and it's really really nice let's walk through them no problem so the first board that we have here is what we call a introduction or progression board so it would be something that a beginner or intermediate would ride it has an asymmetrical shape on the bottom which basically makes a lot of the learning mistakes go away. So like it has a nice soft he uh, toe edge on it. So when you're skipping along the water sideways, you don't catch your toe edge as easily. It has a concave that's more offset to the heel edge, which basically allows you to kind of find that concave, point up wind a lot easier, sit back and get nice and comfortable and let the board do a lot of the work. And then we have a nice sharp heel edge, which again, it just helps for up wind progression. It helps you go uh, easier in that direction and figure out how to efficiently use the kite and the board together. Um, again, and it's a very bomb proof construction. This is what we call a compression molded construction. Extremely, extremely durable. So when you're a beginner, sometimes you ride up onto the beach, you drop your board, you're like all confused, you lose it and it rolls through the surf. So you got something that's nice and durable. So that's the beauty of this board. Right on. Yes. The next board up in the line is called the Drive. And this is a great progression board for anyone from a beginner actually to an advanced rider. Uh, we have a unique construction in this called a profiled wood core. It's 100% wood core. Uh, and what this board has that the Edge doesn't has, have is it has flex, which is very important in kiteboarding also. You're riding in choppy conditions. You want something that can kind of make that ride a lot smoother and a lot more manageable and flex helps you do that. So um, what's also great about this board is the price. The price is wonderful. This board right here retails for $4.99 complete with pads and straps. So it's um, a great way to get a high performance board at a very inexpensive, affordable price. The next one we have is called the Bliss, which this is our gal specific board. Whoa, you have an avalanche. This is our gal women specific board. Uh, this comes off the influence shape, which Jason Slezak and Jimmy, Jimmy Redman built together. Uh, it's a medium rocker board, which handles a lot of conditions and so forth. What really makes this a gal's board is we make it a little bit lighter, lighter core. We have what's called uh, wood composite core in here. So it's a wood core with a PVC stringered construction. So there's actually wood and foam in this core, so it's nice and lightweight. The other thing that does too is it enables us to make the board flex a lot, you know. Girls naturally are a lot lighter than guys, and uh, not as powerful, not to insult the girls, but we want to make riding, you know, kiteboarding nice and easy and fun, and that's what this does. So softer flex, it has that wood composite core, so it has a wood foam core. The other thing that's really nice about this board is it has a nice deep single concave in the bottom to what we call a bonzer, or a nice double deep taper concave out the tips. What that does, is it lets you really sink the edge in, soak up chop, and make upwind progression really nice. The other thing is it makes landings really soft. So like bottom contour besides allowing a rider to kind of find that space, you know, on their heel edge and help the board really set the heel edge uh, and go upwind and be efficient. It also does things like break water surface tension. So like in chop, when you're hitting chop, it makes it a little bit smoother because these concaves like this peak through the middle of the concave is breaking that surface tension, smoothing out the ride. And the other thing is when you land, if you land on something that is flat, it lands hard and skips like a nice flat rock. If you have something that has a little contour in it, it softens everything else out, makes the landings really nice. Sure, so this is really a legacy in the line. This is Jason Slezak's pro model called the Influence, which we've done a lot of shapes off of this board. There are other models off of this board, such as the Bliss. Um, this board is kind of a jack of all trades. It's like the Leatherman, yeah? And it does everything really, really well. It has what's called a medium rocker in it, so it's kind of a mid-level rocker. It handles a lot of conditions. Choppy water, slick water, 
you know, high frequency chop, open ocean swell type chop. So it's a real versatile board in that sense. Um, and again, Jason put in here a nice deep single concave through the middle of the board and then that double deep bonzer concave that we call it throughout the tips. So creates an ultra smooth ride, helps up wind progression, breaks that surface tension on jumps. So you come falling out of the sky, you know, on one of your floaty jumps and you actually hit hard, it'll like soften that landing a little bit. 100% um, wood core we have in this board creates a nice even flex throughout the board. Obviously, it's stiffer than the Bliss, so you get a nice load and pop out of it for heavier, more powerful riders. So that's the influence. Sure. So the next board in the line, once we start getting to the top end, we have what's called the Influence LFX. So this, again, is based off the Influence shape and the Influence rocker. So it has the same outline, the same medium rocker. It also has the same single to double concave throughout the tip, so the same exact. But what we change up here is the core. So in this core, what we have is we have a wood composite core. So it's a wood with the foam stringers in the core. So it creates a little bit lighter board, creates a softer flexing board overall for a smooth ride. Um, one thing we did add to this board too is we added what's called the grind base, the liquid force grind base. That does a couple things. One is, if you are fortunate enough to have some place that you can ride a park, like if you're you know, in North Carolina and you go by Reel and you can ride their park and hit their sliders, or in Hood River and you can ride the park there. If you're in you know, France and you can go to Lucotte, ride their park, guess what? You got something that you can, uh, a very durable, slick bottom that you can ride the features on. But the other thing that this does, it makes a nice durable base. If you live in a place with a rocky launch, something that, you know, Right, in a really shallow place and you're going to maybe contact the bottom and there's rocks it takes a lot of abuse so nice. it's really nice nice durable base this board is what we call the element um and if you guys remember the element was in the line a few years ago which which moheo gould actually helped design with jimmy um christoph tack was looking for a board uh that he could compete on the pkra and move himself up through the ranks which we all know he's doing great this year he's got a couple of podiums in the past couple events and uh, he worked on this with Jimmy when he was talking to Jimmy about what you know type of board he wanted Jimmy all of a sudden the light went on he goes man you want the element from what we did but you need an updated version of it so Jimmy resurrected this element file so to speak and redesigned it top to bottom and used that as the inspiration and the base of designing this board so what Christoph really wanted was a board that was fast um, you know in that PKRA competition format you got seven minutes basically to go do what you have to do you have to stay within a box so you have to have a very efficient board upwind um, and a board that that is extremely fast and powerful so what we did here is made a 100% wood core board based off that element design. Another key feature in that element design was having deep channels off the tips. So it's very grippy, very efficient upwind. The big difference is that was changed is we put a very, very slight concave through the middle. It's not extremely deep. What that does is you still get the properties of having some concave, but yet on the flip side, you get some flatness in there. So when you land, it doesn't break as much surface tension. So it's extremely fast. So it's like when you're landing, you have to go trick to trick to trick to trick. The one thing you don't want to do is have the board bog or lag or anything. Well, this will retain its speed. So stiffer in the flex, lower rocker than per se like the influence. So again, that helps in speed and efficiency. Um, and just a very high end, high uh, performance board for competition and freestyle riders. So, one board, brand new to the line this year that I really want to highlight is called the Focus. Um, interesting construction here that we're actually bringing to the market. So, this is basically based off of our drive construction, which is a 100% profiled core. Um, so, it's not CNC'd like a lot of our cores, but what we've added in this one is top and bottom contour through a process that Jimmy worked on really hard to make. We're calling it basically a 3D profiling. A um, little different than, a, than working on CNC, but what it does, it allows us to put top contour and bottom contour, like channels out the tips, and putting some channeling through the middle of the board to create some upwind efficiency, break some surface tension on the water when you land, and at a good price point. So this board right here is at 
$550 for a nice high performance board that anyone from an intermediate to an expert rider can get out and advance on and have a great time. So 100% wood core, it does have a lower rocker, so it's very efficient for upwind. Um, right on. Another thing with all our boards, we, they do come complete with pads and straps. We redid the pad and strap this year, which we're very proud of. Um, we took a lot of input, fit-wise, from what people wanted to feel in terms of how they fit, in terms of like making a strap that has a range from being very small without a booty to being very big with a booty. A lot of people don't take, you know, brands don't take in consideration like, hey, I'm in the tropics one day and the next day I'm in freezing cold water in Northern California, I need to put booties on. So we designed uh, our new fusion strap with a lot of range and adjustability, so that's really, really nice. So anything um, from a girl's shoe all the way up to a guy with do, a size 13? Yeah, we do have two sizes. Okay. I mean, we have to do that, so we have a small, medium, and a large, extra large. But within those sizes, you have a lot more range of adjustability, you know. The biggest thing is on the small end, like, so the girls who have really small feet, and then guys who have really big feet, and then they go shove a booty, like, on top of a size 13 and a half foot, next thing you know, you got a 15 foot because of the booty. We have all that range. Um, another thing we did is we put a lot of adjustability in the chassis of the of this pad and strap itself. So you really have a lot of adjustment in terms of what angles you want to ride and your fore and aft placement on the board to get positioned exactly right. And the last thing I want to point out <clears throat> is we use what's called basically a baseless or a ring chassis on here. So there's no plastic or nylon that's running any place throughout the foot. So it's all EVA and, and molded EVA that goes through to the board. Two things this helps with. It helps with, one, comfort overall. When you put your foot in here, it's really soft. The arch is in the right place. You feel a lot of support. Uh, you don't feel any pressure points in weird spots. And then it's just really, you know, gushy, so it feels like you're putting on a slipper. The second thing it does, it lowers you to the board nicely. And we all know the lower you're at to the board, the better feel, the better control you have of that board. The higher you're up, you're starting to lose control of what's going on board-wise, so we're really proud of that. Awesome. Um, I know we zipped through that pretty quick, but awesome. if anyone wants to get more information on our stuff, there's loads more on our website, liquidforcekites.com. Everything's in there product knowledge-wise, and I hope you can try a board. Thank you so much, Gary.